Welcome back by multiple requests since, uh, well, since 2015. I'll explain that in a moment. We're going to take a first install look at Clear Linux OS. Could this be a new Linux standard? Let's take a look. All right, welcome back. I won't go into the website. This website was and still is. It's, uh, it's clearly, uh, pun intended, it's clearly not designed for beginners or for newbies uh, from the Windows world coming to Linux. And that's fine. That's the way it was designed. But if you want to take a look at this uh, website, and you should, I'll have a link for this below uh, in the show notes. I want to focus more on the installation and talk a little bit more about this clear Linux OS and why I think it could be a new possible Linux standard for the masses for all almost 1 billion Windows users out there who are looking for a Linux alternative uh, in the future. This clear Linux right now is clearly not ready for prime time. Uh, it's still in development. It is a rolling release, but it's getting there since I first looked at this briefly uh, three years ago. All right, so I was able to install this in a virtual box. Uh, let's take a look, a brief look at clear, at clear Linux. All right, so I installed the VirtualBox, the latest version, I believe it's version 6, if I am not mistaken, and I was able to get this uh, installed. If you want to do this, install this inside a VirtualBox, definitely read the documentation. Telemetry, interesting in interesting that you can uh, turn this off by not, in not enabling telemetry. The question is, does it still gather any kind of data and... Well, we will, we will not be talking about data or security for this uh, test. I'm talking strictly about the technical aspects of the system and really how it looks. All right, so I selected, again, I'm installing this inside a VBox. This didn't take that long to install. And in fact, when it comes to uh, the GNOME desktop, this is by far, by far the fastest freaking GNOME desktop I have ever tested. I am impressed, uh, to say the least. All right, so I was able to get this installed full screen after installing the uh, the add-ons for VirtualBox. Yeah, this thing zips. Even inside a VirtualBox, uh, it zips. Uh, memory usage is right on par what it should be for GNOME, which is a little high, but this ran pretty good. Now, Cl Clear Linux uses its own, its own package management system. This is a customized operating system with the customized known desktop it's it, it is uniquely theirs i believe uh the way to, to run updates to the terminal is to use swap d command s u s w u p d i believe i'm still learning this but it is their own package management system again like i said this is not designed yet uh for beginners but it is getting better here we have the uh the software installer or the software center uh, they have uh, I believe last time I checked total of 4,000 software packages ready to install I looked for OBS simple screen recorder vocal screen none was there not even as a flat pack you can install flat packs again they're still developing this it is a rolling release so you know things can change day to day again well I what I will say repeat again this thing flies I am impressed it zips even inside a virtual box. I can't imagine testing this as a full install, which I may. I tried to install Peak Screen Recorder. It it looked like it stalled. I could not get this to install. Other than that, the system appeared quite stable for a rolling release. If you have used GNOME before, you know how this works. Uh, it's not necessarily my favorite desktop environment, especially for beginners. But if we're talking pure speed, this thing, again, it rocks. It just zips. And I gave this um, two CPUs, one and two. Uh, again, the resources pretty much on par with what I expect, and it ran pretty fast, again, the fastest. Running the updates, you can update, update this through their software center or through um, uh, the terminal. I believe you have to um, log in as root and then it's, uh, I believe it's S -U -S -W -U -P -D space update, swap D update, if I am not mistaken. Again, if you wanted to try this, make sure you read the, the, read the documentation. The guides are okay. The entire website is clearly more corporate than beginner user. But if you go through the guides, I, th I, th I thought the guides were good enough. 
I've seen better, but it's not bad. So again, this is a rolling release. It is their own system. Uh, optimized for Intel architecture, uh, which is a which is a standard if you want to call it that. You know, here we are in um, in 2019. A lot of people, a lot of people still use Windows 7 are not happy with uh, Windows 10. And right now, when Windows 7 expires, their, their choices are Windows 10, Mac OS. If they want a Linux option that works out of the box, pre-debug, that is affordable, they can go to Chromebooks. There is no Linux desktop option right now for the masses. I believe in the future. I believe that in the future, clear Linux could be a Linux standard for the masses. Now, that is certainly open for a debate. There's the whole telemetry issue, privacy. I get it. I get it. This video is not about that. Again, we can talk about that maybe Friday night during the... Uh, private chat check your emails if you want to get more information about this check out the links below in the show notes to clear linux also check out a terrific video by infinitely galactic who talked about the clear linux as a possible ubuntu replacement uh i don't know about that at least not e yet ig and i did a, one of the first podcasts years ago great channel but check out his look at uh a more detailed look at clear linux uh, os uh, I do believe that if if they can get this um, system <laughs> and the website more uh, newbie friendly, and they can definitely and if they if they could definitely uh, try, attempt to standardize the system for Intel hardware, where there's no bugs or at least very few bugs, as a standard for for the masses, then yeah, maybe this can be a replacement for Ubuntu for the masses. Uh, clearly, it seems right now that Ubuntu has no interest in developing a, an Ubuntu, an affordable Ubuntu desktop for the masses. And that's a shame because a lot of people are, well, some people are fed up with Windows 10 and the update process. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you guys think about Clear Linux OS, a new possible Linux standard for the masses. Uh, this is certainly open for a debate, and that's why I am doing this, again, by request. And to let you go, to let you know what your choices are. Clear Linux OS, by far the fastest GNOME desktop I've ever tested. That's all I have for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.